play a very small role in the uh, in the accomplishments of the super chapter. Uh, that is by being here today. Uh, one thing I will say is that I will go on record as volunteering uh, Bradford Seaman, my line brother and the uh, acting CAO, and by that time he should be the CAO for Prince George's County to come back and speak next year. How about that? Right. Let's, let's give him one. I do want to uh, thank uh, Congresswoman Edwards for coming out and her great work on Capitol Hill. Give her a round of applause. And my frat brother and friend and senator from the 25th District, Ulysses Curry. <laughs> I, I, I should say this, you know, a, a, if everybody give Ulysses a, a special pat on the back and say, you know, we love you, um, we need you, especially in January because I'll need some money. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and if we can, before I get started, since uh, I, I'm going to have to duck out a little early, can we give Sarasville High School another round of applause? <laughs> As many people know, my children go to Suitland. I say it enough. Um, and I've heard some great music, but you guys, under the leash of a great, great job. Um, I'll try not to be long because I know, you know, having a keynote speaker during Achievement Week is really just a formality. It is really about those who we're honoring, both the students and um, those who have achieved. We're on our way to Omega Land. We're on our way to Omega Land. We're on our way. It won't take long. We're on our way. Glory, hallelujah. We're on our way. Nearly 30 years ago, 19 of us used to sing that song. And every time we would sing it, the 19 of us who were in the Lampados Club of Alpha Chapter, we knew we were a little bit closer to the land of Omega. It was that song that brought us together, a collective vision hard work and struggle. But it is through that song and through this organization that we learn the power of coming together, of accomplishing goals together with people we did not know before that very day. A little over a year ago, I lost one of my line brothers, Rayford Younger. Some of you may know him. But it is especially hard during these times as we come up that, you know, I'm used to him calling me even in, even in, even in these busy times of being county executive and telling me what I need to be doing or just sending me a text saying, I love you. I miss him during these times. I miss celebrating the 100 year anniversary of our fraternity and our 30th anniversary. When I was online, they would have, do you remember the Lamp Roundup they used to have? We used to go to District 3 for the Lamp Roundup. <clears throat> and that was an opportunity for all the lines to come together and to participate in sports, in education. We did a history test, step show, and basketball. And uh, the one thing Buddy and I had in common, or it's two things, is neither one of us could step. <laughs> and we were really lousy in basketball. <laughs> but it is the history test that made Buddy stand out. Because we won the lamp roundup that year because he scored the highest mark in history. It is not only about your physical attributes, intellectual, but uplift, perseverance. Buddy's contribution was to make sure we got over the goal. And so I think about that and I'd like to focus just for a few. When I was thinking about the future of this great organization, 28 days. <coughs> Let's think about it. 
28 days, from November 17th to December 15th, which is, which is Alpha Chapter's Charter Day. Four undergraduate students and an advisor began what we call Omega Psi Phi Fraternity Incorporated in 28 days. Now, Congresswoman, can you imagine what we, how long it takes us to get stuff done on Capitol Hill? <laughs> or in business, or in a fraternity, or in my case, in the government. 28 days, these young people came together and formed this great organization. It was manhood that created their friendship and led them to launch an organization that was grounded in a bond between men of like ideas. It was scholarship that enabled them to swiftly and intelligently organize and construct and, a, and establish Omega. It was perseverance that made it possible for the founders to endure the pressure of the university when they tried that tried to impede their great the growth of the fraternity. Just think at that time, the idea of African American men coming together on college campuses was not only a radical idea, it was a subversive idea in the minds of many in America. Perseverance. And my favorite, uplift, to serve as their guiding light, their lamplight, because service and uplift to others is the core value of the founders. These young men and their advisors wanted to come together to not only change their lives, but to change the life of this nation. That was their goal. Not simply for a status on campus, but to change the status and life of African Americans in this world. A higher goal. You know, I've had a chance to reflect during these last 10 months of being county executive. and the struggles that we go through as a county. And I think of you around me in, 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 uh, on the fifth floor, I'll ask somebody on a particularly hard day when we're having a struggle, I said, did you pledge? I said, if you didn't, you should have. Because it is that coming together, it is persevering through those hard times that this fraternity went to and these four young folks went through to form this organization. And if we are to move into the future, it is taking their perseverance, their uplift, and their scholarship and molding the next round of leaders. Because that's really what Omega is about. That is what this chapter is about. And that is what today is about. Today is about recognizing those who give back to their community those who bond together for the like ideas of making this world better. I am pleased to be county executive because I get a chance to see several young folks like we just heard today. Once a week I visit a school. And just for a brief moment during that school, I get to touch the vision that our founders had for this fraternity. And that is greatness in the future and shaping lives. What I hope to do as county executive and why I'm pleased to be a part of this organization is that it gives me an opportunity to participate in the shaping of those young lives. And if we are to remain, which I think we are, the great organization that we are, it is incumbent upon us to bring into the fold young men, business leaders, political leaders into our organization who understand that it is more than about yourself, but it is about moving 
the state, the nation forward. And so I am pleased today to say that we're on our way. It won't be long. We're on our way. Glory, hallelujah. We're on our way. Thank you, and God bless Omega Sci-Fi Fraternity.